Hey everyone, this is V from the Real Prague Guides channel. Today I have a special video for you. This is my cat meowing in the back. We'll show you 10 oldest buildings in Prague's historical city center, which you can see above the ground, meaning no Romanesque cellars, no underground passages, nothing like that. We'll walk you in this video from one building to another. So if you guys would like to do one day the same, in the description below the video, I'll leave you guys a link to Google Maps where you will have this uh, route we took in the video highlighted. Okay. Let's start. Our first building is the Rotanda of St. Martin in Vyshehrad. This cute little church was built in the second half of the 11th century and survived till today. Fun fact, in its wall you can see a cannonball, a reminder of Prussian army attacking Prague in 1757. Our next stop is 20 minutes walk from here. Whew. So let's go. We will now walk from Vyshehrad through the new town streets. On the way, you can check out the Cubist house in Neklanova street from Josef Chochol and say hi to the botanical garden. From there, it's only a few minutes and you are on your next stop. But wait, where is it? Is it this church here? Nah, that one's too modern, from the 14th century. Um, Oh, look, it's over there. Another rotanda. This one is called Rotanda of St. Longinus. It comes from the first half of the 12th century and is named after the Roman soldier who stabbed Christ on a cross with his spear. Probably not a good idea to make a joke about a man with a long spear and its symbolic meaning, so let's go to our next stop. Go down towards the Charles Square, check out the new town hall tower, the strange statues in front of the mosaic house and the national theater and you are on our next stop. Another rotunda. Yes, but this one is the last one. It is called Rotanda of the Finding of the Holy Cross. It was built at the end of the 11th century. Some people say that it's standing exactly in the center of a cross that's formed on the map by four other Prague churches. Next stop is not so far and this time it's in a very famous location, Old Town Square. That means on the way you can snap a photo of the famous astronomical clock. Our next building is just next to it, the House of the Stone Bell. It gets its name from the bell that you can see here on the corner and is considered to be one of the most valuable bourgeois houses in Prague. The building itself comes probably from the second half of the 13th century and it's outside decoration from the 14th century. So this time you're looking at the Gothic architecture. Another important Gothic building is just around the corner. It is the convent of St. Agnes. I bet that if you visited Prague before, you might have not even heard about this building, despite the fact that it's considered to be the oldest example of Gothic architecture in Prague. Today it houses the exhibition of National Gallery, so you can even visit the inside. By the way, the oldest building in the convent is this church. Our next stop is in the Jewish Quarter, only a few minutes away. At the entrance to the Jewish Quarter, make sure to say hi to Franz Kafka and promise you will read one of his books. And one block away from there, you will find this beautiful synagogue called Old New Synagogue. Another example of early Gothic architecture in Prague. The building is surrounded with a lot of legends. Probably the most famous one is about Golem, a legendary being that till today supposedly sleeps in its attic. Okay, I hope you guys are not getting tired of this, we have only four more buildings to go. The next one is on Charles Bridge and it is this tower that you can see here. It comes from the 12th century and is the original tower of a bridge that was predecessor to Charles Bridge. The name was Judith Bridge. There are two towers here. This one was built about 300 years later. Oof. Alright, so our last three buildings are in Prague Castle. To get there, we have to walk up the old castle steps. And actually, screw this, too many stairs. Plus, Prague Castle is closed now because of Covid. But you can see our next stop from here. That is the Black Tower, originally built in the 12th century as a part of the defense system of Prague Castle. It's called like that, by the way, because of fire in 1541 that made the tower black. Of course, now it's white because they fixed it over time. Continue your way up through Prague Castle and you will find this beautiful church. It is called Basilica of St. George. This church dates back all the way to around the year 920. But most of what you see today is from later reconstructions, like the towers, which come from the 12th century. Still definitely very old. And finally our number 10. Are you still watching? Maybe you need a bathroom break? If yes, go to Prague Castle's public toilet, which is in the Southern Gardens. You will see there a bottom floor of the old royal palace, which is from the 12th century. Who would have ever thought that going to a toilet can become a historical experience? 
So the whole walk took us about two hours. If you guys would like to do the walk uh, backwards, you can. In fact, I suggest it so you don't have to walk that crazy hill you saw at the end of the video up and just start in Prague Castle. I hope you guys uh, liked the video and if you did, like, like it, subscribe and we'll see you in our next one.